Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about home theatres. A lot of my friends have been asking me what home theatre to buy. Should we invest in a lot of speakers like a 5.1 system or should I just go in for a sound bar? So with this video, I am going to help you to make the right decision on what to buy. Whether you buy a full-fledged home theatre or you just buy a sound bar for your purpose and also save some money in the bargain. And we are also going to discuss some topics like Dolby Atmos sound formats which are getting very famous now even in laptops and sound bars and home theatre systems and whether one should invest in a Dolby Atmos system or not. So let's get started. A typical home theatre system consists of three speakers in the front, two speakers in the back and a subwoofer. When we look at a Dolby Atmos system, you can see that now there are additional speakers on the ceiling, either two speakers or four speakers, which give you the additional sound effects that are created with the Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Now these sound effects are very exciting because they are coming from above you. So you know like a airplane flying above you, raindrops falling from the sky and thunder and lightning are further emphasized to give you that very immersive feeling. Now when a sound bar is supposed to make these sound effects from a speaker which is kept on a table, how is it supposed to do it? Well the only way is to actually reflect or hit the sound to the ceiling and get it back down on you which will give you those Dolby Atmos sound effects. One such sound bar is the Sony HTST 5000, a flagship sound bar by Sony which gives you Dolby Atmos capability by having drivers or speakers that fire upwards to your ceiling and which reflect sound back to you trying to give you an immersive Dolby Atmos like effect. It's a very beautiful sound bar. It's got seven drivers and music and movies sound very very clear and crisp. It also has a wireless subwoofer which you can place anywhere in your room within a reasonable distance so there's no cluttering of wires. To be very honest, the soundbar with the Dolby Atmos capability really is not all that convincing. Although Sony has a system within the menu where you can adjust the height of the beam that the speaker is hitting at the ceiling, so you can really tweak it a little bit. But still, the actual sound that you can enjoy from a typical Dolby Atmos system with overhead speakers cannot be replicated fully by a soundbar. Now here is my living room system which is a typical 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos system which has 5 speakers, a subwoofer and 2 additional speakers on the ceiling which is the 0.2 which gives you the Dolby Atmos sound effects. Bear in mind that you need to have a track that has Dolby Atmos decoded to get these sound effects. The speaker system that I have is the Canadian brand Paradigm. They are wonderful sounding speakers and pair well with almost any amplifier. For movies or for music, they sound equally good. So we have the floor standards which are the Paradigm Monitor 9s, uh, the center channel which is the center 1. Then we have the surround channels in the back which is the Paradigm Surround 1s. Now these are dipole surrounds that means they uh, reflect sound as well as hit it directly on the listener's ears as well so that gives you additional immersion. The subwoofer is from Boston Acoustics. It's quite a large subwoofer which also doubles up as a coffee or a table to keep a lampshade on and it's nicely disguised away in the room. This is a 10 inch subwoofer and really the subwoofer is a very integral part of a uh, home theater system. Of course, then we have the two additional speakers on the ceiling. These are also Paradigm speakers meant for use for Dolby Atmos systems. Really good speakers don't really change that much in technology and they last you a very long time. In fact, my speakers are now almost 16 years old. So I have two hard drives here which contain all my media files with Dolby Atmos clips, movies and uh, music and these are all streamed wirelessly to the NVIDIA Shield TV 
uh, which then plays it on to the speakers and to the receiver and to the television now movies songs and music that are encoded in dolby atmos are quite huge files and you need a proper media player to be able to play these and well suited for that is this nvidia shield tv pro which uh, can stream dolby atmos files wirelessly to your receiver and then to your tv and to your speakers i also have a dvd player and a blu-ray player although these are used very less and is probably just kept there to balance out the space in the av rack but of course they are there and if there's an occasional blu-ray that we have we sometimes enjoy it on the blu-ray player of course the heart of the entire system is the marantz mrx 720 av receiver it's a wonderful receiver whether you want to play movies or music it sounds absolutely awesome marantz is also a canadian brand which is a sister company of paradigm and they make one of the most amazing av receivers so here's a demo of the system the camera mic will really not do justice to the sound because the dolby atmos effects are so immersive you can actually feel the raindrops and the flying of the aircraft and it's absolutely absolutely immersive
He's going for the dreadnought. Ha! He's insane. <laughs> So what should you do? Should you buy a soundbar with Dolby Atmos in it or should you go for a separate speaker system like a proper home theater system for Dolby Atmos? Well, the answer is very simple. If you're on a budget and you just want a soundbar but also want to have a little bit of the Dolby Atmos sound effect, then of course you can go for a Dolby Atmos soundbar. But you will not get the kind of effect which you get in a proper separate speaker system. If you have the budget and if you really want to enjoy rich, immersive Dolby Atmos sound, the separate speaker system is the way to go. But also bear in mind that you need to have Dolby Atmos encoded music, movies or clips which should be able to play on your system to get that full Dolby Atmos effect. I hope you like this video so don't forget to like or subscribe to my channel that will motivate me to make more videos for you so as always take care stay safe and i'll see you soon